So even though Appleseed was just a background character and only appeared in a handful of episodes, he still had a character arc. Hey folks, welcome to Squirrel Tactics. Okay, so Appleseed, he appeared in three episodes, Fish and Wildlife, Bill's House, and Race the Stakes. His first appearance, he was voiced by actor David Allen, by the way, was in Fish and Wildlife, where he walks up to Hank completely naked. Hank and the guys just so happen to be camping at the same time and place as The Gathering. A, well, gathering of, and I quote, crunchies, hippies, earth mothers, vegans, and hyper-vegans. By the way, this? Hey, can you give me some money? No. Fascist. Yeah, that's pretty much what a lot of Texans think all Californians are like. Just a little FYI there. In this episode, it's pretty much just established that Appleseed is a hippie, and after the park amenities were cut off and the gathering breaks up, we last see Appleseed getting into the back of a van after calling Hank Rumsfeld, a reference to Donald Rumsfeld. The next time we see him is in Bill's house, where he's staying at Bill's house, which Bill has turned into a sober living home. We learn that his real name is Stuart. He spent 15 years going by Appleseed and apparently had issues with toad licking and cherry wine. He says that Stuart is a sober name for a new sober life and his personality is rather different, probably due to dealing with recovery, as he's much more short-tempered, going so far as to argue over the amount of clay he was given to make an ashtray. Oh, and he makes sure everyone knows he's an alcoholic. By the way, his last name might be Chad. Chapman, seen as the real Johnny Appleseed was named John Chapman. But that's just a theory, really. Our sister channel actually did an entire video on Johnny Appleseed if you're interested in knowing about the real person. You can check it out by either clicking the eye up there, or if there's not an eye up there, I'll put a link down in the description. His final and most substantial appearance was in Raise the Stakes, where he comes across Hank in the Megalomart meat section, being unhappy about the quality of their beef, as well as the clerk's assertion that he perhaps cooked them wrong. Appleseed then tells Hank about the co-op known as Corn Op Copia. Hank recognizes Appleseed and apparently by this point he was again going by Appleseed, but Appleseed doesn't recognize or remember Hank. If you're looking for good meat, I can hook you up. Appleseed? How do you know my name? It's me, Hank. Uh, we spent a week together in the woods. You lived in my neighbor's house. Woods? Neighbors? That does sound like me. Hank ends up joining the co-op after seeing their quality of meat and ends up getting Appleseed to buy him a few things, though he's skeptical of the hemp toilet paper. Are you trying to frame me? Appleseed is back to his more hippie mentality, though he's clearly a productive member of the co-op, shown working there on several occasions, so even though he's gone back to his old nickname, it looks like he truly has left toad licking and cherry wine in his past. Also, he does keep his clothes on for the the entire episode and is rather reliable for Hank showing up anytime he's asked to. It's interesting to see Hank and Appleseed interact as they are complete opposites and yet in the case of better quality food they see eye to eye and become allies if not friends. Yeah man, random acts of kindness. No, not at all. And after the co-op sells out to Megalomart, Appleseed helps Hank procure several animals, including a pair of cattle and some chickens. That Hank originally keeps in his backyard and notice that Appleseed is right there working alongside Hank. That's not the lazy hippie we first met. That's a more mature and productive person that had his dark days, went through treatment, and came out better on the other side. The last we see of Appleseed is when he's running away with the cattle to keep them from being confident confiscated by the authorities. And later he sends Hank a picture of a calf that he had named Hank, to which Hank gives the most Hank Hill response possible. Delicious. So while just a background character with only three appearances, Appleseed has a full character arc. From toad liquor to rancher, from directionless to a man with a purpose, he possibly had the most growth of any character on the show and most people don't even notice it. Thanks for watching Squirrel Tactics. Give us a like and a subscribe if you would, and y'all come back now, you hear?